Oh, cool, we found something. Look, I found one. I got one you don't. Look what I found, sweet. Hit me up in the comments, you want me to mail it to you. Today what we got is another dryer drum bearing. One of the wheels in the front that holds the drum up came off. It's actually this side because there's a gap here. And uh, you'll hear it when it runs, and I'll run it so you can hear the noise. No heat. And what it's doing is that drum is actually scraping on the inner side of this door panel, is what you're hearing. Oh, cool, we found something. Oh, look, I found one. Look what I found, sweet. Hit me up in the comments if you want me to mail it to you. All right, so we're gonna pull this apart. This bearing should be laying in here unless we got thrown away with the lint. Ooh, got more treasures. Look at that, look how clean that is. Yeah. Might get dirty today. Basically, I'm just feeling to see where the wheel is, the bearing, and I can tell it's completely screwed up. It's right here. I don't know if you can see that. See, that's all chewed up. So we gotta pull that nut off. There's a nut on the other end of this stud, and so I'm gonna have to take it off the hard way. So I gotta remove the panel, pull it out, and unbolt it. So that's what I'm up to. You got four of these T20 torque bits. Two for the door, and two for the side of that panel. Not supposed to have to do this, but they not, they got a hell of a flaw. Well, they're still T20s. The difference between that one there and this one, that one there has four screws and then has a bunch of 516s. This has, well you have to take both computers out too, but this has torque bits all around your link compartment. I just lay them right inside the lint tray there. And it'll have two 516ths, one right here, and one about here that I have to loosen also to get this panel out. All right, now we need the keys. We gotta pull out the computer. The other thing is, everything has a different key. The lint tray and the computer are two different numbered keys. And they do that so that you can have one, you can have your person that works on your dryer cleaning the lint, can't have access to your computer, but to program it, I guess. And I don't need a lot of room in here, I just need a little room. But I am gonna pull this off to be safe. I don't wanna break anything. There's a screw somewhere. There it is. See, I forgot one. Lint was covering it up. Somebody didn't do a very good job cleaning this out. All right, now there we go. Now you can see, you wanna see this lovely? Everybody talks about lint. Look at all this. I mean, it gets caught everywhere in these machines. This is why once a year you have to take them apart. This right here. I still got more coming out. You can get in there and film it. It's all stuck in these trays. I'm gonna shut the door of this one, so. Look at all that. It's all around that wheel, too. And I know people would be like, man, you need to clean those more often. I'll clean this just like I am right now, and I swear we'll be right back to it. There we go. See, there you go. That's. That's not what it should look like. The rubber's basically grenaded. These are the old orange ones and red ones I don't like. I like the black ones. They hold up better in my opinion. Also this bearing here, it actually is just pressed in and if that dryer gets hot enough, these will slide out. This is not only pressed in, it's crimped on the end so it can't slide as much. These are the ones I really like. I don't know if it's a heat that does it. See, it's supposed to lock on there. You see those? That's what they call a locking nut. 
And what it should actually be is oblong here. And this serrations are supposed to keep it from turning. It hasn't worked yet, folks. I think part of the problem is they put a they put a washer on the back side. I think I might just take that off this time, see next time if this works better. I tighten it up so it can come loose again later. Grab our vice grips for the inside. I'm just struggling today. I think I'm out of practice. Oh, put the wheel on. The only trick you gotta do here is you gotta push up on this drum because the wheel won't get under this runner. There we go. supposed to be how simple it is right here always lay your tools in there underneath the lint so you can't find them when you have this apart you'll start to see this a lot of people wonder why their coin mechanisms don't work and what happens is the lint and your dryers see how it's in that back end of that thing it jams them up so that it won't let the quarters out this is why in a laundromat you'll see owners who have cans of compressed air and they'll clean all this out I do that, which is not really the greatest, but a can of compressed air would be super smart. And it doesn't leave moisture, so stuff won't stick to it. That one's clean. Yep, that one's clean. Now you have to lift up on these just a little bit to get them panels to slide on. In a minute here we'll vend it and it should work. This is a really simple repair anybody can do. And this is the ones you're going to have to learn because this will eat you up spending 200 bucks a time doing this. Make sure they're good and snug. You don't want any air going in. All joking aside, one thing you always want to do, you want to put every cover and screw back on these things because it really does make a difference. It keeps stuff from getting in places where it shouldn't be. It keeps motors clean, electronics clean. And dryer lint is, you know, when these computers go out, it's, a lot of it's times it's because the dryer lint gets in them. And that dryer lint will could create a contact between two points and they'll short out. Okay. Get all my screws out of this fun ooey goodness. Okay, the two shorties go on the one side. Don't need to get crazy. Two long ones go on this side. This is where your third arm comes in handy. Make sure this one's lined up before we tighten it too much. Nice and dirty. You gotta put these back, because if we don't, they won't. Gotta put the lint tray back in. We're gonna get a garbage can and clean this while we're at it. That's just all from behind the drum. Now, a lot of people give you a hard time about lint, and you know, it's not that we don't clean the machines, it's just we clean them so often that when we see little stuff like this left, we know that we'll get it the next time and the next time. You're not going to get it spotless when you're busy, you're just not. It's working just fine, it's not charging people extra, they're drying good. It's just nature of the machine. See how successful we are. I'll walk the machine down. There we go.
You know, there's a happy customer. Remember, folks, clean lint daily. Remember, folks, clean lint daily can cause fire. Thanks for watching, and if you like this and want to see more, then hit the subscribe button.